So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new and really smooth clothes simulation without using any add-on. Guys, see that's my clothes simulation. Guys, now I teach you how I create this type of beautiful animation. And guys, I show you my render preview. That's my material. And that's my final render preview. See guys, that's really cool and really smooth and shiny cloth material. So, see guys, that's my material. Right? Okay, so now guys, I teach you how I create this type of effect. So, guys, I create new composition. Like this. And guys, delete your camera and light. See guys, that's my cube. And cube scale size change. Like 3. And guys, y axis 0 0.5. And lastly, 0 0.5. Enter. Yes. Right. Okay. So now, guys, go to on here. And wireframe check. Guys, next one, I apply bevel effect. So use bevel, this one. Yes. And guys, see, that's my bevel amount. Guys, decrease like 0 0.05. And segments increase. I like 10. Yes. Right. See, guys, that's my bevel. Okay. So, guys, that's not correct. So, guys, select this cube and apply to use scale. This one. Yes. See, guys, that, that's my bevel. Right? It's really good. Okay. So, next one, guys. Duplicate this cube. Press Ctrl C and V and rotate. So, holding Ctrl key like 90 degree. 90. Yes. And, guys, select this one. So, guys, little bit increase this scale size, little bit. Like 0. Point, actually, this one. Yeah, it's good. Yes. Okay, see guys, that's my cube. And now, next one, guys, I create rotation animation. So, guys, I use null object, that's my empty, and use arrow. Yeah. Okay, so, guys, select both objects, that's my cube. So, holding shift key. Drag and drop on empty layer. This one. And guys, I create animation. So guys, end frame are like 600. Enter. Like this. Okay, so guys, go to on here. Empty and create animation like this. So guys, 0 frame. And 0. So guys, rotation check. And guys, little bit up. I go to like 280 frame. So guys, rotation are like 720. Enter and check. Yes. And guys go to on like 320. And animation key check. And lastly guys. 600 fin. And this time minus 1. Enter and check. Yes. See guys that's my animation. Okay. So guys go to back and play. Yeah. That's my simple rotation animation. Okay. So guys next one. This time. I create close simulation animation. So guys, I take cloth. So use plane. And guys, plane size increase like 10. And 10. Yes. Okay. So guys, now go to on here. Wireframe. Wireframe check. And guys, select your plane. Go to on up like this. Little bit more. Okay. Yes. Now, next one guys. I apply segments. So use edit mode. So press A letter and right click subdivision. Guys, number of cut increase like 10. And one more time, right click. I like number of cut 5 is good. Yes. See, guys, that's my segments. Okay. So now, next one. Guys, this time go to on here. That's my modifier property. And I apply subdivision surface. And render, I like 1. Yes. Right. Okay. So guys, now I apply collider and cloth tag. So guys, go to on here. That's my cube. Select and apply collision effect and select collision. Yes. And guys, select this plane and apply cloth effect. Yes. And guys, go to back and play. See guys, that's my cloth simulation. Guys, take a little bit time. Yes, really cool. Right? Okay, so now, guys, not correct. So fix this 
animation and cloth effect so guys right click on this cloth and create shade smoother yeah that's my smooth okay so next one guys select this plane and rename like cloth and guys go to our modifier and guys this time I apply thickness so use solidifier like this yes right and next one guys I apply this time more smoothness so use subdivision surface guys subdivision surface render I like 4 and level of viewport I like 2 is good for me okay see guys see that's my simple setting I use solidifier for thickness and subdivision surface for more smoothness okay so now guys go to on here and change guys setting on here see guys that's my cloth and cloth quality I like 10 enter so guys go to on here shape is good and collision see guys that's my collision and quality I like same 10 yes and see guys that's my object collision distance I like 0 0.05 enter yes and guys most important self collision check and friction I like same 10 and distance guys I like 0 0.05 enter 0 0.05 enter yes see guys that's my simple cloth setting right okay so now guys go to on here catchy guys you can increase this end frame catchy like 600 but guys that's my only tutorial part I like 250 yes and guys click on here bake animation check guys take little bit time for baking yeah see guys that's my really cool smooth cloth simulation yes really good see guys that's really cool right okay so guys my cloth simulation effect is finished it's really smooth animation and next one guys I create background and material yeah it's really okay so guys my cloth simulation animation is finished now guys go to on here and play guys that's for my plane and guys increase size scale size increase like this so little bit more and guys I create background so use edge select and press E and G up I select this one and apply bevel effect and guys amount 0 0.2 and segments I like 30 yeah and right click shade smoother yes okay so guys now I take camera and guys go to add and use camera and guys holding control alt and press 0 yes see guys that's my camera angle and set your camera angle like 90 and 0 and 0 and guys set your location like this yes okay so guys next one I create material for this cloth so go to on here material and create new so guys base color and go to on here guys color code is double f a 6 a d and yeah that's my color and click on here and guys metallic 0 0.7 enter and roughness 0 0.35 yes and guys click on background and create new guys I take this time light pink and color code is double f b 1 b 4 enter yes and guys roughness 0 0.3 is good for me yeah okay so guys click on here that's my SDRI environment here as environment texture and guys I have SDRI file like this and import yes okay so next one guys I like area light simple area light and go to all up okay so guys power I like 150 and size 5 is good yeah and guys click on here actually guys now go to render setting and guys this time I use cycle render and guys this time 128 and 128 that's my SAM simple and denoise check 
and guys click on here yeah see guys that's really cool and hide lines wireframe uncheck yes see guys that's my final one it's really beautiful right and guys press zero and go to on render click on here guys i show you only one frame render yeah see guys that's my really cool material and guys animation is really smooth okay so guys that's it my final effect is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you